Welcome back, everybody. If you're new, my name's Nicholas, and this is Investing Against the Grain. In today's episode, we're going to talk about LIDAR and some misconceptions I think a lot of people have with LIDAR and why they think LIDAR is so important for full self-driving or autonomy. And I think this becomes a very big misconception to the point where I think even VW CEO Herbert Deese doesn't fully understand why LIDAR would be pointless or useless once you solve vision right the, the actual problem of vision so before we get into it do me a favor hit the like button hit the subscribe button ring that bell and let's get into it before i give my point of view let's take a look at a couple things uh to give context behind why i'm even making this episode so first we start off here with gary black and he tweets elon's argument that humans don't use lidar so why should evs isn't compelling in my honest opinion if one, if one can add a useful technology to existing human skills to make an innovation better, why wouldn't you? Again, he sits there and says, machine greater than human, human plus machine greater than human. And then he has this article here uh, from Inside EVs with Herbert Deese. Now, before we go into this, um, let's talk about what Gary's saying here. He's saying that he doesn't think that LIDAR um, that Elon's point about humans not having LIDAR is compelling his honest opinion. And he's just saying, if we can add something that could, you know, make it better, then why wouldn't we? So from that point of view, he's right. If you could add something to make improvement, why wouldn't you? But that's not what LIDAR does. And I think this is a big misconception by a lot of people. And so the problem with Gary here is he fails to explain why besides him saying his honest opinion and saying if we can add something that can make technology better why wouldn't we or make autonomous vehicles better why wouldn't we yeah okay that's a no-brainer on the surface what gary is saying here makes sense right if i could add something to make something else better why wouldn't i however in order for this to hold true that that something that technology has to actually make it better and i think that's what gary misses and i don't think it's just him so inside of this uh, Inside EV article, which was essentially just talking about the uh, Reddit Q&A that Herbert Deese had, uh, the main thing regarding LiDAR was this quote from Herbert Deese. LiDAR technology is still expensive, but today it's the only way to offer redundant perception to the 360 camera system, which, which are a must. Safety is really crucial in autonomous driving. For level three driving, you need redundant perception. Okay, so this goes back to not understanding fully what LiDAR does, all right? So the whole idea of something like LiDAR or cameras is so that we can have an understanding of what's going on around the world, right? So we, so that the vehicle, the software can see what's happening. Now, in order to truly get to an autonomous vehicle status, we're going to have to have computers, neural nets really understand what it's seen in the world. The truth is, LiDAR is really bad at this. LiDAR is actually extremely bad at this. LiDAR is good for getting an idea of the distance of a certain object and getting an idea of its overall shape. Now, can LiDAR determine, hey, this is a human and that's a car? Yeah, sure, based off general shapes. But it's not going to be able to, say, read a sign. It's not going to be able to understand the subtle nuance of a human looking backwards over their shoulder. It's not going to be able to get any of those little nuanced details that you need, right? From that perspective, this is where cam cameras offer a, a dense amount of information compared to LiDAR. LiDAR, for those of you who don't know, is essentially just a, a, a beacon that can sit on top of a car or on the side. And all it's doing is shooting out all of these different lasers to hit a whole bunch of different points on a certain object. And once it bounces back, it gets an idea of what the shape is and what the distance from that object is. Now, one reason that LiDAR is kind of, you know, not the holy grail that everybody thinks it is, is because it's not occlusion penetrating. Or in other words, it cannot go through buildings. It cannot go through fog. It can't go through rain. So that's where LiDAR has to really lean on radar. So the, the idea is, okay, if we're using LiDAR to get an understanding of what the world looks like, but it can't be that nuance. And then on top of that, we have to layer in cameras. And so maybe with the cameras and the LiDAR, maybe we can get better understanding. Okay, that could make sense on the surface, right? But here's the point Elon constantly makes. In order to get to autonomous vehicles, 
we have to train the neural net to where we can solve computer vision. This is the fundamental limiting factor for autonomous vehicles. Can I have a, a human, a cat, um, a person looking over their shoulder? Can I have a trash bag, a, a tire? Can I have a, a, a hairless cat and a cat that has full hair and a panther and be able to have the computer vision to distinguish all of those and what they are and what's different and what's similar about them? Can I have a computer determine based off video footage I've, uh, I've clipped all together Instead of going by frame by frame, we're inputting video, which is now the next level where Tesla is going with this, inputting uh, 360 degree video and even from a bird's eye view up top and having it do all this image recognition from that perspective, that is what we have to get to. And that is what Tesla is doing. That is why the name of the game is getting as much data as we can to train the neural nets. And so here is Elon's point. Herbert D says that, we need to have LIDAR in order to have redundant perception. The problem is, let's say that you solve this problem that we need with computer vision. At this point, if you're using LIDAR for redundant perception, would you trust LIDAR or would you trust the camera? At no point would you ever believe the LIDAR over the camera, right? It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. If, if the LIDAR is just getting you a fraction of amount of, of uh points and indication of what a object is or what's happening and you know that a camera can get you orders and orders of magnitude more information and is way more accurate 99.9% .9 of the time when are you ever going to believe the lidar is right over the camera you wouldn't you would never get to that point and that's what makes lidar pointless and useless for this problem it's the same reason why tesla got rid of radar because the radar was not as accurate and not as fast in giving the, the, the neural nets the information it needed. In fact, it got to a point where the neural nets and the radar were conflicting and the neural nets were becoming more accurate as a, as a replacement for radar. And so at that point, who do you trust? Right? At this point, you throw radar out because the neural nets are more accurate and you get better, better information a lot faster. And so that's what's happening here. This is the, the, the misperception that a lot of people have. They think, okay, this is a double, it's adding redundancy, but it's not, right? It's not like it's the same thing or just as good. If that were the case, or maybe if it was even better, like radar is great. Radar is great to balance out LIDAR. Why? Because it can penetrate through fog. It can penetrate through water in bad weather. And that's something that LIDAR really struggles with. However, LIDAR does not fix anything for a camera. A camera can see everything in higher detail with more pixels, right? Just way more depth in information. LiDAR can never help that. And so th this is what boggles my mind is that people are still talking about this. Now, to be fair, Herbert Deese isn't wrong 100%. Why is that? Well, Herbert Deese isn't wrong because they don't have a fleet of cars out there generating all this data, all this driving data, all these miles that they can you know, see all around the car, sending it back to the mothership so that then they can use that to train off of. So because they're not doing that, they have to lean on this crutch of LIDAR. It's the only way. There, there's no other way they're going to get there. You either have a fleet and you get as much data as possible or you use a crutch, which is the technology that's out there. And the technology that's out there right now is LIDAR. So Herbert Deese isn't wrong. He also isn't right, okay? He's right for the companies that don't have these fleets like Tesla has. In fact, nobody has it like Tesla. So, so what does this mean in the big picture, in the big scheme of things? Well, I think in the big scheme of things, we're going to have one of two outcomes. Either one, Tesla completely solves this, and all the other companies keep on banging their head away with LiDAR, which they're just going to hit a local maximum. Why? Because LiDAR would not get them the richness of detail of information that they need from the surrounding world. Or two, Tesla is going to solve this, and everybody else is going to license the software from Tesla. Now, maybe eventually other companies will get to a point where they decide, okay, this isn't working with LiDAR. They were right. We need to pivot. We need to go ahead and get fleets out there. But I really don't see that happening. I think by the time anybody gets to that point, it's going to be too late. In fact, I think some people are already at that point. I think that's why we've seen companies like Uber, you know, do away with their 
their autonomous driving efforts, right? I, I think we're starting to see that. I think we're going to see more and more of that as we go along. And I think, I think the first automaker, the first OEM to say, hey, Tesla, we want to get behind with what you're doing. We'll be the first one to license your full self-driving. We'll put in all the cameras just as you tell us to, but we want to license it from you. I think the first OEM to do that is one, going to get the best possible deal. And two, I think that there can be one of the few that remain uh, by the end of the decade. So those are my predictions. Those are my thoughts. But at the end of the day, it's just understanding the technology. It's the right technology for the right job. The truth is LiDAR doesn't help cameras in any way. Radar helps LiDAR. LiDAR helps radar. That makes sense. That's a symbiotic relationship that makes sense. But no point would you ever trust LiDAR over a camera. Why? Because a camera just has such, su such a richness of, of detail and information that LiDAR will never have, right? So it just, you'll never default to it. All right, we're going to leave it there for today. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that we need to have LiDAR to, to get to autonomous driving? Or are you on the same side of the fence as me thinking that LiDAR at this point is pointless unless you do not have a fleet and you are not going with this vision approach. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And until next time, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that bell. I love you all. Peace.